Hi, this is Dr. Ray Cody. Welcome to another SolidWorks tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll mainly focus on reference geometry and defining uh, various planes. Uh, when you start your SolidWorks, you have three defaults, and these are front, top, and right uh, planes. But often, you need more planes in order to define and create your uh, geometry. Uh, the part we are making today is something very basic. It looks like a dumbbell shape. Uh, in order to make that, we start by making cube shape. Let's go to uh, new, new part. We go to top plane, and all we do is make a simple rectangular shape. We get the dimension of 100 by 100, and then I extrude this by 100. Uh, I use mid plane from both sides. I want to extrude that, and it's gonna be 100. So this is uh, the geometry. Now, as we look at this shape, so the next thing is I have to make a cut like this. So obviously, this cut is in neither of these three planes. I have to define a plane first in this uh, direction and then I create a triangle sketch on that plane and then I can extrude cut so let's see how we can do that okay so I pick one plane uh, here normal into it making a sketch on the plane and I start a center line Let's start from somewhere in this edge and extend it to the other side and the edge. Escape key, I want to give the dimension here uh, from this point to this point. I want to have 35, so as from this point to this point. 35. So I'm done with my sketch. Then I go on the other plane, in this plane, and make a sketch perpendicular. So make another center line from this point to somewhere on the edge. And I give a distance from this to here, 35. So we have 35 and 35. And finally, I make another sketch on this plane. Make and again a center line and this time simply a start from from this point to this point and obviously this would be 35 so I have these three points to make a triangle here next thing I'll go to reference geometry make a plane and in order to define a new plane either you have to have three points or one line and one point or you can have two lines, depends on how they intersect. So in this particular case, I use uh, three points. One point, second point, and third point, which is here. And as soon as I click, this blue uh, plane, which is exactly the plane I want, would be form, and the name of the plane is plane 1. Now the next thing I do, I want to make a sketch on this plane 1, and I'm in that plane. So all I do, I want to make a line. So again, from this point to this point to this point and to this point. And obviously now I have this triangle and I want to extrude cut. And I can simply extrude cut this geometry. So I have one corner of it. Oh, of course, we have uh, seven more corners. I could go and do the same thing seven times, which is extremely time consuming. But now I use some other features that we have here. Let's just look at what we have. So, for example, this front plane, as you can see, is right in the center. And that's why I extruded from both sides, for example. So if I select a plane and I select mirror here, and what I want to mirror, obviously I want to mirror from here. Uh, you see, from this part here, I can open it. And here I have all my uh, features that I have. So 
I need to select this cut. I select it here and I select this cut to be mirror to respect to this front plane. And right away I can see this yellow one because uh, I could have also full preview here. And as soon as I click, so I make exact the same one here. So I mirror this. Let's see what else I can do here. I can use also this right plane right here and I can mirror my cut and the mirror to respect to the right plane and here what I get is two more and finally I have my top plane and this is what I mentioned that if I uh, extrude this one mid plane so this is 50 top and 50 uh, bottom so exactly my extrusion happens symmetrically therefore the top plane would be halfway through my cube shape and I select this mirror again uh, to respect to top plane and obviously I use my mirror and then I have everything here so this is the shape I made so next thing I have to do is obviously I have to uh, make this boss extrude which is this shape this rod coming out so let's see how I can make that one uh, very simple sorry we have to go to this part here so I select this uh, face making a sketch on the face I go here make a circle at the center give the dimension of 40 and then I want to extrude this 250 and here is what I have well how about if I want to make this shape again obviously a very simple feature would be I want to mirror the body but of course if I want to mirror this I have to mirror that to respect to a plane right at the center of this rod and for that I have to find the center and I have to define it let's do that and in that case one of the way is I look at the top plane making a sketch on top plane and so I would like to make a center line at the center of my rod from here right to here this is the center of the rod so now I have to find a plane, go to reference geometry, make a plane. That plane has to be parallel to this plane, it shows here, and that plane should simply pass through this point. And that is exactly where I want to have the plane. Now, since I have the plane and it's selected here, I go to mirror. What I want to mirror now, this is not a feature. So I have a body because I have several features here. So it's easier to go here to the body and you select the body. But one thing you should remember that merge solids, you unclick that and just select the entire body. And now you see the yellow one is already being made. And because I have the full preview, and here is what I made. So very, very simple. So I think this is a very good uh, way to practice and get familiar more with uh, reference geometry. I think the last thing I did was simply I left click and I go to uh, select the color and I use this color for the entire part and that would be it. Thank you very much.